glass is a thousand gold pieces. Why? Why is it still? It's always been a thousand GP. Because gla- you know glass is expensive. But everything has windows. That's a, that's. A <laughs> Do they? Everything has windows. Like oh, you look like they have you glass look windows any... here. I've never assumed windows. windows. I've always, I've, yeah, I've always kind of like assumed like wooden, just like wooden shutters that you kind of close. <laughs> As it ought to be. And then, only, and, and then the churches have windows because you know. Yeah, the churches have glass windows. Is what I'm thinking of. I could say there is a, a vast gulf of difference between some like opaque, shitty piece of glass that you jam into a into a thatch roof hut, and then a precision a precision ground uh, spyglass. Right, because you know, to, make, to make the first kind, all you need is like fire and a beach. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Um. I mean, there's a grappling hook. Man. There's there's all your different. Uh, I I I think ration. we're good though, guys. On terms of yeah. just adventuring gear. Yeah, and I, I think you're, I think you're set. If I think of yeah. anything else, I'll let you re- retroactively we, buy it. If I'm like, oh, you really should have gotten this. Is there any limitation on what kind of oil. spells I could pay to copy mm. and put it in my book, or I could just pay it and just oh, sorry. I can get them? We should pick up. Something. Um, you can pay it when you're in a large town with a um mages guild. With Orin's Town, it's a little weird because the head of the Mage's Guild there, or the Wizarding School, is inside your backpack. Oh yeah, Thupus. Um, Should we talk to Thupus about this, guys? Maybe, yeah. I mean, we might. We probably should yeah, tell well, him right. that we, like, we want to talk the to demon. <laughs> we want to talk to Thupus. Okay, I summon, <laughs> summon Thupus. Hey, Thupus, my man! I'm Thupus. Oh, this is the wrong <laughs> cut. Hang on, let me go, let me go get the right... Let me get. Let me go get Thufus's cup. This is God damn it. <laughs> you seriously have a separate cup? I do have a Thufus cup. Let me go find the Thufus cup. Yeah, that one didn't feel right. <laughs> I'm really gonna break my immersion, guys. It's, I don't know what it is. If it's your headphones or what, you talk so loud when you're doing. <laughs> Listen, D and D and D comes first. <laughs> He's just really okay. into it, man. Yeah. I don't know. You didn't believe me before. I think I, I think fine. the only way to solve this, guys, no, is, I, I is just, to just bring I, I, Desiree I into the game so she doesn't complain about how loud it is. <laughs> <laughs> I'd be fine with it. Oh. Well, I want fucking lightning bolts Why just for fun. Desiree Why always yells at me for being loud during D&D. And, mm-hmm. uh, I took my headphones off as I was talking last time, and I was like, oh my god, I am really loud. What the fuck? Mm-hmm. Here's Steve, a tip. Do you have Increase- any idea? Go ahead. I'm oh, sorry, I was like, increase the, the sound of your own voice through your headset. It helps me. I'm less loud when I do that. Huh? Speak up! See, I you know why every time I... Cup. Jesus mm-hmm. Christ. <laughs> Can't fucking get it off. Someone's gonna fucking talk. Watch, I'm, no one's talking right now. I'm gonna try and say it, and then someone's gonna interrupt me. Steve! Yeah. Shit, I mistimed it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I knew. I was waiting for someone to interrupt, so I paused. Do you know why? Every time I open the Battle of the app, I get like an unread message, but then there's no messages. Like there's no one sent me. Anything. Oh yeah, it's a Hearthstone bug that exists oh, great. now in the Blizzard launcher. <laughs> oh great, awesome. Okay. Yeah, it's not you. It's them. I promise. It's it's one in doubt. It's Blizzard's fault. <laughs> All right, that's fine. All right, I'm good. So we bought all our armor. We've set Vexia up in the the keep. Have we set the tax rate yet? Damn it, Eric! <laughs> it's a it's a it's a progressive tax rate. Um, Why we're no no we're doing it Bretonian style. Like, <laughs> yeah, we're the the nine we tax the poor as hard as possible. They pay. <laughs> they keep one tenth of what they earn. That's bad. <laughs> They would Harsh. revolt. We'll, kill, we'll put them to death too. <laughs> anyway, put them to the flame. There's, all right, Thomas. There's only one spell that I want. Hey, Thufus. Hey, Thufus. We uh we killed uh one of the things that should not be. Do you have any oh. idea on where we should find the next one? Well, let me take a look here. It's a very thick book. And you hear him, uh, you know, inside the crystal, pick up a gigantic tome and. Sunk it down, <laughs> and uh, and start start looking through it, uh, you know, flipping through big thick parchment pages. 
Considering that everything he's living in is a fake projection. Oh my god. Does he really have to go through all these steps? This is literally asking. Does he really <laughs> have to go through all these steps? Like, does, shouldn't he just, like, know everything in the book? But it, it's not a, uh, it's not a fake projection. It's a, it's a little pocket dimension. Hmm. So he's not dead? I thought he was like, dead and just, like, a part of his soul. Yeah, it, 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 it is his soul, but his soul is stuck in a pocket dimension, and this is how he comprehends it. I see. Yeah. Carry on. <laughs> Thanks for explaining that to me, Thupus. Of course. Anytime. Yeah, it's a pocket dimension, and this is merely how my brain comprehends it. Yes, yes, your brain is tiny and inferior, I get it. Yes, so, uh, Thupus, <laughs> we, we, we killed Shelnath, and we, uh... We believe, well, the kobolds are living here, uh, just to let you know. Uh, we invited them. Yeah. They are doing well. They pay taxes. They pay taxes. Yeah. Um, no, surprisingly. They're, keep, they're keeping That's the sewers clean. Surprising, they good news. When do they, you uh, think they are the, um... but equal. <laughs> wow. 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 Oh, Lord. <laughs> oh, my God. That was great. That was pretty good. <laughs> Cobalt lives matter. <laughs> no, they fucking don't. No, they, they do don't. Not. <laughs> they really don't. We're going to hell. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. Not cobalt hold it. Not, not cobalt co hell though. No. <laughs> What's way worse? I don't want to go to a cobalt hell. Um. So yes, yeah, Thupus, do you um do you happen to know where any of that rest of the meteorite landed? Yeah, that's what I'm looking up. I'm trying to find uh, astrological and astronomical data from that year, cross-referenced with the notes I've taken from the Necronomicon, and then consulted with, aha, yes, right here, got it. <laughs> no, that's not it. And he how keeps about, looking. How about Green Deep, or the Black Crystal in Tantalor, or Let's the see. Caldera inactive volcano crater, or the center of the western forest of Orangetown? Let's well, it's the see. bog, I think. That one I think we already did. Red one we did already. <laughs> yes, the red, the red crystal was attuned to chow Let's see here. Nope, sorry. Uh, so sorry. That was the blood theme. What's the next kind of theme we want to explore? <laughs> well, the other colors are green, pur <laughs> black, purple, Show orange, some respect yellow, for, purple. For, for, for tired, already been done fantasy tropes, all right? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's not why, that's why we're going to do purple next. Give you all, like, prince theme, like purple rain and shit. Oh, prince, well, I'm, and I'm a rogue. Oh yeah, there you go. It should have been Prince themed. I can't believe I missed out on that. <laughs> well, Still the purple to one, the purple one's taking us, I think, to the God's Lost. If I'm correct, that looks like a volcano. Yeah, I don't, I don't. That. I I must have been in La La Land because I that's know, a bit far. I know there's colors, but I don't remember where they landed. Mm, I don't remember <laughs> where either. That's why I was asking our our built-in. That's why I took page. note. Oh. Uh, Lily, do you happen? Have uh, have peeked at the orange globe while you were in there? I did, and then the DM didn't tell me what was there. <laughs> wow, <this laughs> so the DM has to check his notes. <laughs> Aha! Well, so I'm going to assume that you have them nearby, Probably. and that they have been brought from the study to the keep where you currently are. Yeah, that's good. That's good that's news. Fair. Yeah, we moved. Yeah. We can just yeah. say this whole conversation is composite over several days anyway. Yes. Yeah. If you look at the orange crystal, you'll see it's got a little knob on the back. Could you try twiddling it? Oh, I'll twiddle your knob. I was uh, saying, that was a very uncomfortable verb. Uh, it's an old man, too, saying it to could a little you, gnome girl. Could you just fondle it for me? Thank you. Yes, I'm fondling it. I am fondling it. How would you like me to fondle it? Quickly, uh, slowly, gently, yeah, hardly? Clockwise, if you don't mind. Clockwise, okay. That's unusual. I've never had that request before, but I'll do it. Good job. <laughs> I'm turning it clockwise. So as you do it, uh, it's you know, a series of small clicks emits from it, and uh, it, uh, it, it goes through what look like maybe uh, detection methods or phases. Um, it's, you know, it's essentially adding and removing filters from, from what it's looking for. Uh, after about 10 to 15 clicks, it, uh, it, it whirs a little bit, and all of a sudden, small, small dots start appearing, uh, in one specific area on the crystal. 
that looks a good deal like the ivory bog. It just oh, ways I north agree. of you. Yes, indeed. Uh, do I see any which, specific details? This is details? what we were directed to before, anyway. Ow. Yeah, it's like, yeah. who's breathing oh. into that microphone? Well, it must be Alex or Dustin. It's not me. But I could. <laughs> well, it's, it, it, my microphone had slid so close. <laughs> so, uh, anyway. Is there any particular details in the ivory bog that I'm seeing, or just yeah, in the yeah, ivory we're bog? Getting to that. Yeah. Um, tell us more. The microphone won't stay in place. There we go. Tell um, me more, tell me more. Is oh, don't start. No, no, g- no, no grease. <laughs> um, <laughs> I bet it is full of rat folk. <laughs> uh, so, it looks like, uh, so the, the Eifert Bog has never been a particularly pleasant place, even from uh, how you wrote how you remember it being uh, spoken of 500 years ago. Hmm. That place was a <clears throat> shithole. Hmm. In this instance... So, Gary, Indiana? <laughs> Low-hanging fruit. <laughs> um, there were, uh, you know, countless thousands of years ago, there were, uh, you know, many, <gasps> many massive magical battles that were fought on that site. Um... Yeah, the tales of which vary. No one quite remembers the cause anymore, but there are thousands upon thousands of dead buried in the bogs and mostly preserved. It's called the ivory bogs because you can still see their bones peeking out above the uh, the marsh peat. Spooky. Yes, very much so. And that and it Sounds actually like exists we... in real life. It's, yeah. it's scary it's as a re- shit. It's a real thing. Oh, cool. Uh, Sounds like we're going to encounter quite a few skeletons. Uh, yes, yeah, so there has always been an undead presence. Uh, late, lately, word is that it has uh, picked up significantly, and that uh, more and more people have been going missing the further into the into the bog they go. Uh, the only town within the bog that people people know is still there is Feldale. It's also the only part connected by a road. Uh, it used to also be connected via river travel, uh, but no one who has gone up the river has come back. Oh, well, that's how I was going to suggest we get there, too, is we take a boat south and go around. Well, I guess um, we'll have to walk. <laughs> we can still walk up the you guys, to walk. Would you, guys, would you guys say they were up a creek without a paddle? I oh, God know. damn it, mother... <laughs> damn it. Perfect. It was perfect. You know what? All right. <laughs> that was even more infuriating than the racist. <laughs> oh. Anyway. Uh, so... Uh, when you looked at um, <coughs> the the corruption through the, of Chalnatha the Red Crystal, it looked sort of uh, almost arterial, or uh, you know, like like a uh, like a circulatory Fitting. system. Fitting. What's this one look like? Well, it at first you think it looks very similar, and then the you voice. start. What? No, I'm the one looking into yeah, it. Yeah, he, he's looking at it. I was like, I just grabbed the cup reflexively. I was like, oh, oh damn. But then, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, <laughs> Sorry. I am i didn't mean to derail it. I'm just, oh, did you just miss on, it? Just go on. Um, no, no, no. Just, what, is, what does it look like through the, uh, through the orange? Uh, so you, at first, you think it looks like, like, again, a circulatory system. Uh, then you realize that this looks more like roots. Interesting. Mm. Big plant. Not necessarily a tree, just a very large plant. Alright, somebody get the fucking roundup. Alright, it sounds like of... we need more we need more flasks of oil and torches. Yeah. And then, <laughs> right. you know, there's a uh, very large, you know, what, what would almost be described as maybe a bulb or something mm. um, in the heart of the bog's North of Feldale. Hmm. So, do we want to head to Feldale first and then make our way to the bogs, or should that we just go? I, I like feel like we should idea. tell someone where we're going. Mm-hmm. Just to... yeah, like your hot cousin or whatever she is. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> great, 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 great niece. Yep, whatever. whatever. Actually, a weird Adam. family. <laughs> Family that it's it's gone so far around that it's become okay to have sex with again now. 
<laughs> yeah, she's adopted too. Yeah, so. she's super far removed from you. So yeah, like, it's right? it's the I've seen enough hentai to know where this is going. It's a Roxanne <laughs> adopted great great half niece. I think I saw that video. Yeah, that's perfectly fair <laughs> game. <laughs> All right. So I definitely think we should go to the the Feldel City for two specific reasons. Number one, it'll be good to have uh, access to information uh, and you know get an idea of what's going on. Hmm. And number two is if there is anything like what happened here, it's going to be infesting the town. They're going to whatever it is is going to be looking for cultists. <laughs> it seems like it's going to be likely a, a a theme with these things. That might yeah. not be the case. Yeah, but... and, it, and at least we can see the damage, and maybe we can find the people who are fighting it, and we can make allies with them. Exactly, By the time yeah. we get up there, we're gonna need to resupply it. I mean, yeah, it's we'll we'll quick travel there if we can. Oh, yeah, <laughs> run across a few random. <laughs> Open that dimension door. Out. Are there any? No, I'll fucking take a gate. <laughs> yeah, right. Um. I mean, I don't know what the scale is, but it looks like it'll probably take... Well, are you summoning your horses or no? Lily? And I'm looking at, like... Well, the... Are we I'm buying a... a cart? I'm looking at the ponies on your on your jacket. Mm -hmm. You don't know what they do. I don't mm -hmm. know what they do, but I'm looking you at them. You just know I have a new cool robe. <laughs> yeah, and I'm staring at it, and I see ponies and dogs on it. <laughs> you like my Maybe robe? she just likes ponies and dogs, man. I you do like my new robe? I have, been, I have the character appropriate vehicles. What was that? I have proficiency in vehicles. Like, the horse would count as a vehicle. Mm-hmm. A horse counts as a vehicle? It does. How very it's a real thing. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> I can, I'm a great at mountain combat. Uh, yeah. Uh, so what, uh, what are you looking and at? And also, right? horses aren't particularly expensive and widely available in Orangetown. Yeah, this is, I, I, these patches are for emergencies. All right. <laughs> we need an emergency horse. We got an emergency horse. I understand. All right. <laughs> Resource of rations. So then, mechanic-wise, how long would it take us to walk there, sail up the river there, or take a take horses and a wagon up there? Thomas has to measure the distance. All right. I'm quite sure and we we're not taking the penalty to give us horses and, and wagon. And we're not taking the penalty to perception for fast travel. We don't. Have, we're not in a rush. Yeah, it's I mean, gonna be like in Pokemon, where we're, as we're going right. along, we'll just get like a random encounter. That'll be two two weeks and change. If we walk it, if we ride it, ride. What if we sail up the river? Um, a week and a half. Mm, slow going then. We might if only. I got the rowboat patch. <laughs> the a rowboat would take longer. <laughs> <laughs> a rowboat would take a very long time. <laughs> Let's ask if there's anybody willing to sail us up there, since "quote unquote" no one ever returns, and see if it's even an option. If it is, then how long do they think it'll take? And All what right. do they want? We can we can make our way to the ports and ask if there's a crew crazy enough to take us up there. Yeah. <clears throat> Ragtag crew, swashbuckling badasses. Well, I'm the swashbuckler, so, but yes, I will bring I will bring you so along Spellulon. I feel like you're good at negotiating this for for no reason. <laughs> so, one second, go back to my harbor page. Yeah, here. I could use one of my illusion spells to make you look better. I look great. You'll look much. Give you as big a bulge as you want. <laughs> well, the only real purpose right. for illusion spells. Tits. So you you head to the harbor, tits. Um, and uh, you see there's a lot more ships than there were before. Uh, busily unpacking goods, uh, as you know, demand is high as all the merchants need to restock their wares. Word travels fast that Orenstown's back to normal, um, and whatever was wrong with it has been fixed. <clears throat> Nice. Uh, so there are, yeah, there are a large number of uh, merchants, big and small, uh, big and small here. The <coughs> uh, the ships sailing through the harbor that you noticed and you very first came in are back. Um, and uh, and it looks like the harbor is mostly back to normal and quite busy. All right. Uh, then I guess we will approach. Um... 
a crew. Mm -hmm. On your way to the harbor, you see a boat that looks very familiar. Is it the boat that picked us up from the middle of the ocean? It looks like that boat. We approach them. Well, I approach them. And uh, yeah, as you us. as you get as you get closer, a uh, a uh, yeah jovial looking, uh, vaguely vaguely uh, you know piratical man uh, in a uh, in a yellow slicker uh, peeks over the railing and says, "Hi, lads, it's you again." Hi. <laughs> yeah. what, what was it's his Gordon. Name? <laughs> it's Gordon. Oh, Captain <laughs> Gustair. Not Captain, Cap'n. What? Captain. Oh, hoy, Cap'n. Uh, permission to come aboard. Aye, permission be granted. I, can... I love <laughs> doing me pirate voice. <laughs> I, step on I can the tell. Ship. I step on the ship with glee. <laughs> <laughs> Indeed. Subordinate. Aye, number. glad to see you fellows made it. Aye, Cap'n. Uh, so, how's it been? I, by the by, it's been good. We sailed all the way back to ever sailed up north. Then all the way back down, we gave Orangetown a miss for obvious reasons. Yeah, Went straight to Crownport. Ah. How, how, how's she doing these days? Aye, the seas be calm and the winds be fair, lads. <laughs> of course. Uh, <laughs> 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 I can't talk. <laughs> Can someone else go? <laughs> We would like so, to go past north. Dude. I gotta mute myself. Desiree hasn't said anything or looked over, but I'm fairly certain that all chances of sex tonight have vanished. <laughs> Only if you do the pirate voice. No. He just doesn't want to... <laughs> yeah, she just doesn't want to get into it and then have me be all like, Yahar! <laughs> Wonderful. There she blows! You know, it's not a good look. No, no. It's Fire not. the baby cannon! Maybe <laughs> 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 yeah. a man, my harpoon in there. Oh, yeah! Hey, show, show I us almost, your larboard side. <laughs> I almost laughed so hard I threw up. <laughs> oh my god! Anyway, <laughs> I've got the hiccups. Oh boy! <laughs> oh boy! All right, who? It's I've I've done enough talking. Somebody else needs to talk. All right. So we would like to. We are. Oh, go ahead. No, go ahead. All right. We are liking to, or we're looking to book passage up to the uh, bogs up this river here. Oh, the yeah, ivory bogs. To to, wanting to go to Fennedale, do you? Indeed. Ah, mm -hmm. uh, it's a, it's a rough trip to be making this time of year, especially with things being as they are of late. Hmm. Yes. Things. Would you care to elaborate on on what those things are, or just you talking about strange them? businesses afoot up the river? Oh. <clears throat> well, how far it's up kind the of... river can you get us? Well, lads, I can take you all the way up the river, as long as you promise I can make it back. Yeah, we promise. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Totally. Yeah. Yeah, I have faith in you. No problem. You, you fixed Orangetown right up, and that seems to be the biggest problem I've ever seen in my days. Yeah, we've only been here for a couple of days. Yeah, look, I think we got it. Guys, it's been like two months. What? <laughs> How long were yeah. we in the dungeon? One hundred years. Okay, there were multiple. There were multiple like week stays at the Rhines before you guys did stuff. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. The narrated is yeah, as like uh, you stay here for a while, get yourself situated, get stuff figured out. <coughs> okay, so yeah, we were, yeah, it, yeah, it only took us two months. How long yeah, was it like that? Five hundred years. Come on. Exactly. Well, yeah, it, it was it was like that for whatever. Um, and this is something that I I don't think that I made as clear as I should have. Um, that bad things like this only started happening fairly recently. Oh, really? Like, yeah. The that empire very, fell. Uh... The empire fell apart fairly quickly because Tantalor was gone, and it was the seat of everything. Hmm. And all the all the judges and stuff, you know, vanished. So the system of government fell. Everything split off into little city and nation states. Uh, but then it was fairly quiet for a long time. And uh, the only... Uh, the only major occurrences that... <clears throat> that, uh, um, that popped up were... Uh, were, you know, just, you know, small historical events that don't have the amount of significance that Tantalor disappearing is. 
or had. But then um, about a year ago, things started to get weird. Uh, the ivory bogs started growing. Um, the gods lost Caldera, uh, uh, became, um, became all but uncharted, all but unchartable for unknown reasons. Uh, it, uh, fewer and fewer ships started coming from the reach up in Borea. Um, things started to get odd. Okay. And that that only yeah thing, the the condition of the world only started to significantly deteriorate in the way that Orion Orange Town deteriorated in the last year. Mm. Interesting. That's. <clears throat> I, I was in the impression that it's been going downhill a lot for like five hundred. Well, so the state of of the world has been going slowly downhill, but mostly for political reasons because a major empire fell apart and everything was slowly becoming more distant. Ah. It wasn't, it, it, you know, so nobody knows how the magic portals work anymore. You could see that the Orangetown walls were in disrepair because, no, you know, the methods used to fix them and maintain <clears throat> them were lost when, uh, when the Thren Empire fell. It is, this is a world in decline, but that decline became much sharper and much more ominous very recently. Gotcha. Mm. Okay. All right. All right. So, quick important plot update from, from the DM. <laughs> All of a sudden, cool. Even for our characters that wouldn't necessarily like, they wouldn't have known that right away, but they could have learned that over time. Right, and it's it's sort of become apparent to you that you know Orange Town got by. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, fine. It was it was a it was a trade stop that was con a convenient stop between Ever Eversail and Crownport and Tempest Quay. Um, and it was one of the one of the stops that Saltac frequently traded with. But uh oh, we lost somebody. I'm here. I'm still here. Now, what was that sound? Who was in here? Yes. Oh, we lost Dustin. Ah. Yeah. Too busy smoking. Probably. He doesn't. <laughs> there he is. Yes. I found him. Um, so, yeah, Orange Town only, you know, became uh, became a less desirable destination and things started going wrong within the last year. This is also why the Kobolds got, you know, that all of a sudden the Kobolds showed up in Orange Town because they'd been kicked out of the forest because um... You know the you know the black one showed up, and that's why the Rhines had to move to that. Uh, um, the Rhines had to move uh, to that uh, conclave out of the forest where they were previously. Hmm. So forest is all black, black person moves into town, and all the white people move out. Yeah. <clears throat> Sounds typical. Yep. Yep. All right. So uh, Captain Goldstair says that he can take you as far. As, as his ship will go, and his ship is a shallow bottom ship uh, for, for coastal sailing, so it can you know, while not specifically a river vessel it can make it a good ways towards Feldale into the bogs um however uh, you know he does, he does want your assurances that you will deal with any any threats to him or his crew along the way. Guys, we can fight stuff yeah. on a pirate ship. We can fight stuff on a pirate ship. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Even better, we can fight something in the water and do underwater combat mechanics. Woo! Oh, boy. Oh, oh the, the robot here is super eager. Jump in the water. <laughs> hey, he was fine being dropped from whoever where we were when we got shot out of Tannin Lore time cannon. <laughs> well, I don't drown. It's just I had to walk all the way to shore. <laughs> I am I see me being suspended from a rope over the side of the ship a lot, just fucking angry. You pull me up. Oh Biku. Yep. Alright. Sure. So then yeah, we, we give insurances that will yeah. protect the cap the we'll captain. Yeah. We like this guy. Oh, All right. Guy. Totally. Saved us from the ocean. He I I well he's not a thufus, am I right? Hey. All right. <laughs> Just to keep up the the part that us as players love Thufus, but the characters hate Thufus. <laughs> yeah. Right. <laughs> well done. 
We love doofus, though. We do. Yeah. I know. Uh, all right. Yeah, we we like doofus. <laughs> He's definitely hilariously weird. Hey, and that's man. what we want from him. I don't know why he used to talk through that cup all the time. Though. Hey, right. <laughs> that's like, kind of strange. I like this cup. It's a good cup. <laughs> it's the only way to sound like a person inside of, like, a crystal. By putting yourself inside something. I get it. Yeah. Hey, Desiree. Bring <laughs> your vagina really close to the mic. Oh. <laughs> Son. If we, had, if we hadn't lost all demonetization, right? I probably owe YouTube money. <laughs> okay, so we... They we just charge you for yeah, putting it up. I just get, like, a bill in the mail. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so we um, we promised the crew to protect them while we held up to Feldale. To the best of our abilities. We don't say that. <clears throat> What's the worst that could happen? <laughs> Never <laughs> say that. <laughs> I did. Too late. Said. Oh shit, he did. He said it. Alright. So you uh, board the ship and... Uh, he advises you take uh, enough supplies for at least two weeks, just in case there are delays. And we do that. Okay, make sure you deduct enough money for two weeks of supplies. How much is that? I'm telling you now, if I can look it up correctly, where is it? I'm going to do four go. weeks of supplies, just in case. Alright, so let me find the stupid weapon. <clears throat> weapons and adventuring gear. Right? Isn't aren't rations in adventuring gear? Yeah, rations. One day is five silver pieces. I'm doing two Fortnite. So uh, five times seven times four. Mm -hmm. Times four. No, no, I don't <laughs> Wait. Yeah. Times three. Okay. Four hundred and twenty silver pieces. It's nothing. Well the money I saved. I'll just take it out of the bag. Yeah. I'll bill you guys later. Thomas, yeah, I did want to get That's our money. It's, 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 <laughs> it's the collective money. One, what was money. that? Possession is nice and the wall for my spell book. Okay, which one? Lightning bolt. All right. I only have 124, so that's what I'm going to pay. They're going to give You're paying what? Want to pay 100? 100 what? Gold. Why are you for paying? Spell. For a spell. Oh, for a spell. Okay. Oh, he's got a copy. He can copy it into a spell book for some money. Mm -hmm. Wizard stuff, man. I probably mm -hmm. should pull this spell patch off. Just to know what it is. And we can just throw it in the bag of holding. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I'm going to pull off the spell patch. Just so we know what it is. All right. Uh, So... Uh, what level is the spell? It's Three. a random spell of, fir so of level first to third. It's not clear. Is it random? <laughs> I thought I thought it was... Uh... It says spell scroll containing one spell of first to third level. Find oh, that. from that? That could yeah. be oh, find, useful. Find, you want to roll it? Okay. Find the table I, that... I, yeah, there's a table that gives you spell scrolls, Thomas. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm finding it. Um... I mean, if I get to pick, I'll pick. <laughs> Scroll of Revivify. Because <laughs> it's a very expensive spell and someone's probably going to die. Let's be real. <laughs> well, no one can cast it. No, it's a scroll. You can cast it, right? Uh, that's, that's what I mean. Like, no one outside of a scroll that we would get could cast Revivify. Exactly. So if I could pick a scroll, that's the scroll I want. <laughs> <laughs> if we get now, if we have to go at random, go at random. But like, if we're picking, scroll revivify. <clears throat> That's a divine All spell, right. right? Yeah. First to third. Let me get this set up right. I've got a, I've got a Excel spreadsheet for this. I think. Yeah, here it is. I knew I had one. Maybe it'll be like Lehman's tiny hut. <laughs> And then go ahead and roll the yeah. D100. Twenty-eight. What does the twenty-eight mean? 
I have no idea. 28, table 1.3. <clears throat> huh. Swirl of Revivify. If yeah. Came... <gasps> no. <laughs> what? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Scroll of Revivify. <laughs> That's fantastic. That's actually pretty funny. You know, if you try to do that again, that would never, ever happen again, right? <sighs> but it did. It, it did happen, Steve. I hate this game. <laughs> 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 well, there still could be there could be mishaps though with the scroll, like just because yeah. we don't know how to use it. What? So All right, so I have a scroll of Revivify. There we go. That's amazing. Let's delete that from the robe. I don't know if God loves you or hates you, Eric, but I'm <laughs> I'm real. It's. He's it's there. a mix of both. It's it, a love-hate really. relationship. Okay, so Dustin, so after reviewing the, uh, uh, the rules for copying spells into spellbooks, you need to find the spell first. Um, oh, that's what I'm asking Thufus. He was the toilet master of the <laughs> Right. Um, so, uh, Thufus, uh, after much looking... Uh, does not know where he put his scroll of lightning bolt, and does not know it since he was mostly research-based wizard. Does he, he know go... anyone who actually like to blow shit up? Uh, yes, he says there are a um, quite a few uh, evocation wizards uh, that that he personally knows of. Um, as far as masters of lightning spells. It's probably easy to find one in Tempest Quay. So there's nobody at the Mage's Guild who happens to know that regular level 3 spell. I'm, I'm, I'm getting there. For cool. advanced lightning spells, you'll have to go to Tempest Quay. Um, for, uh, for Lightning Bolt itself, someone at the Mage's Guild uh, does, does know a technique for creating a lightning bolt, yes. Alright, well I will go and visit him. And he'll... Okay. I don't know how important I am. Oh, Steve, apparently we can't cast. No. And it's the yep. spell scroll is 300 gold, and then it'll cost another 150 gold to in oh, materials. I didn't, just, I didn't think about the scroll cost. Can yeah, I just like, copy it? If, if we use the scroll, there's probably going to be a very high DC on it actually working, or it works and something like happens to us. That's very common I mean, in D&D &D that something's happening to you. It's Yeah, so spell scrolls don't have a 100% chance of working, but but wizards can copy spell scrolls into their books. But when you do that, you know, really they'll really. usually charge you for the privilege of copying their scroll because it makes, at, at least in this universe, copying a spell scroll inherently changes it a little bit and makes it less likely to function. Um... <clears throat> when you actually do want to use it. Mm. Uh, I won't tell you the mechanics of that. That's internal, but do know that it exists. Gotcha. Um, so this wizard will let you copy his... He's an apprentice wizard, but he'll let he'll let you copy the... the, the uh, um, copy his technique uh, from a scroll that, that he has of it that um, that he'll, he'll let you do that for 300 gold, and then it'll cost you an additional... 50 to 350 uh, uh 450 total 450 yeah to oh, um fun. yeah 450 and that cover that covers the cost of the materials you need to um to ascribe it to your spell book correctly mm -hmm. that's just way too yeah no. Three hundred gold is also more than what most of the people would see in a year. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I, I, he's he's a wizard. He's a little different. <laughs> we we have our own agana. Hang on. Put the stupid. 
it's in here somewhere. Oh, you know what? I probably need to refresh my roll twenty. That's why I did need to refresh my roll twenty. <clears throat> Hate that. <clears throat> No, but Steve, as in, like, none of us can use actually scroll or revivify. Because it's a uh, spell scroll bears the word so single spell. If the spell is in your class of spell list, you can read the scroll and cast its spell without providing any material components. Otherwise, the scroll is unintelligible. Well, fuck. Casting a spell by reading the scroll requires the spell's normal casting time. Blah, blah, blah. Uh, so, yeah, none of us can actually read the scroll. So it's kind of worthless hmm. to us. <laughs> so before when you, you were like, oh, well, maybe God loves you or something. Turns nope. Out, <laughs> nope. So. Turns out, no, he does not. But I don't think there's any doubt of that in my mind. Yeah, only yeah, cl <laughs> clerics and paladins can cast that spell. Not druids, too? Nope. Druids can't revivify. Druids can greater restoration. Druids have a lot of healing magic on their own as well. I'm surprised at how much wizard reanimation. I don't know why I thought it like only wish, but there's level five spell. <clears throat> Did you guys hear the vacuum in the background? I heard the toilet flush, but I didn't hear the vacuum. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I just wanted to make sure the vacuum wasn't bugging you guys. There's no toilet flushing right. Pissing into a toilet. All right. Okay. Hmm. Do, 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 so, do, now do, that I've got that do. done. Da, 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 da. So, I guess we're going to have to get an NPC party member that can cast it. <laughs> <laughs> I think we'll have to either save it for a <clears throat> if we run into an, N an NPC you can for us or something. Sell it. Mm -hmm. Selling selling scrolls is really hard. Selling selling anything in this game is hard, like including magic items. Um. And yet we have six wheels of cheese in our bag that we're gonna sell. <laughs> no, we're gonna, we're gonna, eat, gonna, that. Eat, we're gonna eat that cheese. God damn it, we earned that cheese. This guy I'm trying <laughs> yeah, to they're not worth much anyway. It's fine. From, he's not gonna make a sale today because he wants too much. Negotiate. Like, yeah, th anything. this is this is when persuasion checks happen, guys. I'm Come I'm on. Making persuasion checks. How All much right. are you trying to charge you to record this scroll? Three hundred. Three hundred gold. Damn. That's a lot of gold. That's highway robbery. We need to charm this guy. <laughs> yeah, we do. Let's well, all gang up on him. Maybe, uh, maybe, maybe I can step in. Yeah, you do that with your good rolling. Uh, I was mm -hmm. gonna, I was just gonna threaten him. <laughs> oh, well, I was prepared to do that. I'll just fucking kill him. <laughs> all right. Uh, yeah, I would like to roll a persuasion roll to try and haggle that down. Yeah, we are on a quest to save the world. Yeah. All right, go ahead and persuasion check me. <laughs> Come on, I need a good roll today. <laughs> oh, Christ. 13. He thinks for a while and knocks it down to 250. I whisper in uh, spell lands here. I just saved us 50 gold. Yeah. Oh. We have 734 gold. Is it... Is it... Uh, do you get to keep it forever? Spell yeah, I'm going to copy it. It goes into my spell book. Yeah, that's and then probably part of why it's so expensive. Yeah. I thought it'd be nice to have it. That way I wouldn't have to kill you. There was a... Get it. Oh, so, so the other thing I forgot to mention is that the... Andrew also... Um, covers him since he doesn't really have like a a, a full-on spell scroll of it that he could just sell you and have it be like a usage item mm -hmm. he'd have to teach it for he'd have to teach it to you since he um 
since he he knows it mm. essentially and he will show you, know you how to do it knows? i'll tell you what he knows he knows how we save the town and he's got to <laughs> be all oh i had to make some money off of this all right 200 gold at- and that looks like his final offer all right we'll do it <laughs> you should take it take it pay the man all right <laughs> pay the man <laughs> <laughs> well, we're not the ones holding the gold. Talking? Lily. You, Eric. You have the yeah, Lily's got the gold. Well, you should probably say that. I, yeah, I don't take orders like that, FYI. Mm. Um, I'm He's not your little me. not your little whipping girl. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're into that, but... You could be. I right. don't know. There's a lot of betaism in D&D. <laughs> so, I guess we're done here. So. I paid him. So it would seem, yes. He's paid. Awesome. Yeah, yeah. So you guys, if you, as long as you have enough supplies, you're welcome to set out. <clears throat> All right, I think we're ready. And All I'm right. not gonna. The way I'm gonna do supplies in the future <laughs> is like I'm not gonna be like, oh, you don't have. Oh, you guys are gonna run out of supplies. Like, if you want to leave, yeah. Uh, I will say like, please have enough supplies. <laughs> and if you don't, <laughs> then I'll try and come up with a mission for you to get enough money to afford some supplies. Yeah. But try and have Probably. supplies. Yeah. Try mm-hmm. real hard. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we have Erica. four weeks worth of supplies. Mm-hmm. Yes. And each. each. Oh, except for the robot who said he didn't need any. Yeah, I don't well, need to eat. Yeah, so. the, the robot doesn't need any. Um, and then I guess we, we set off. What's the name of uh, Captain Custer's, uh boat? It is the Thomas has to check's notes. Mm-hmm. That's a weird name. The SS. Uh, that's what notes. I thought. Where is it? Oh, come on. I know I have it. Ah, Yahar, it be the sea maiden. <laughs> All right, let's let's take this maiden upstream. Oh, Yahar. <laughs> Cuts a black. <laughs> Me liking the sound of that. That was certainly something.